Well, um, there's, there's lots of interesting things in uh, philosophy of science. One of the hot button issues these days is uh, the question of realism, scientific realism. Uh, are the things that science tells us exist in the world real? In the late 19th century, for example, atoms were not regarded as real. They were regarded as purely conceptual ways of dealing with the evidence. Nobody had seen an atom, nobody had manipulated an atom. And so uh, one particular physicist by the name of Ernst Mach treated these things as basically conceptual constructs. Uh, later, the same thing was said of electrons and positrons and neutrons. Uh, and of course, later again, quarks and so forth. Um, and of course, these days, people are arguing that strings are merely conceptual constructs. They're not real aspects of reality. So there's a big argument about that. Um, in other fields of, of science, for example, the philosophy of biology, one of the questions is, is there such a thing as a gene? Now, everybody knows that there's DNA. Everybody knows that DNA does stuff. But whether or not genes are real is a hot question because it doesn't look like DNA has a nice neat mapping from uh, its gene sequence to the structure and nature of the organism, its phenotype. And so there's a big argument, are genes real, right? Or is it just a whole bunch of molecules banging into each other? Uh, one area where I work, for example, is in the field of classification. And so I asked the question, are species real? Are they real objects? Um, or is there something else going on here? Uh, and is there a theory that tells us that there are such things as species? Uh, so a lot of what uh, philosophy of science is dealing with are questions of what does science mean? What does it imply? Um, are we uh, just building nice pictures about the world? which happen to help us uh, and there's no real connection to the way the world really is, or is there something else? Uh, a recent movement, uh, which I'm very sympathetic to, is the idea that while the specific details of a, of a theory are possibly false, the overall structure of the theory isn't. This is called structural realism. So um, you might say, for instance, that while we might not have a good definition of gene, we do know that most heredity goes through DNA. And it's so unlikely that we would find anything to overturn that, even if we're not sure which bits of the DNA function as a gene for a trait or contribute to a trait and so on, or whether or not uh, it's nature and nurture and what the relevant, you know, relative percentages are and so on. Um, so questions of reality are actually quite hot button issues. And there are a number of um, uh, philosophers who are what we call anti-realists, who say, look, the theory may work, it may be useful, it may uh, summarize the data and give explanations, but you've got no reason for thinking that the objects of the theory actually exist. Hence, anti-realists. They're not denying that the theory is the best one that we've got. They're just denying that you can draw from that a conclusion that atoms and electrons and species and those sorts of things actually populate the world. So uh, philosophers tend to ask questions that scientists either don't think are terribly interesting or don't think can be answered. And as a result, a lot of scientists think that philosophy is actually a waste of time. We've seen Stephen Hawking saying this. We've seen Lawrence Krauss saying this. Uh, we've seen Jerry Coyne, the evolutionary biologist, saying this. Um, and I think it's because they literally don't understand what it is philosophy does, and they're really critical that philosophy isn't science. Right. Um, and it's, I think, quite unfortunate that a lot of scientists think that these days. Um, I've met quite a few in my travels. After all, scientists are my study organisms. Um, and um, they treat philosophers with a kind of uh, patronizing uh, nod and a pat on the back. Yes, you do your silly thing and I'll go and do the real work, which I think is, is unnecessary.